What is good guys, we are back with Lefties vs Ray Scarface for Smoke and Snake Draft. I pretty much know both teams. This is the Flame Vitini team, it was used in World Cup, and this is the team that Lefties used the other day versus Easy. So if Ray knows the sets, then he has a pretty nice advantage. Both Landers are Scarfed, so they're either gonna try to exchange HPIs or U-turn. Uh, Ray gets gonna go Clefy, that's a pretty fine play, uh-huh. Like, that was obvious, and he can go for rocks. This clef has rocks, knockoff, moonblast, and soft pull. Like I said, I know the teams, so like it's gonna be pretty easy for me to like know what they're gonna do and stuff. So I can talk about the teams. Um, this is Bandit Tyranitar. I think this is Specs Coco. I might have mixed it up in a Z move, but I think it's um, Specs. Um, this is Devon Mew with Ice Beam, Soft Bolt, uh, Will O Wisp. And Clefable just knocks this off here for free. Like I said, I know the team. This is uh, Specs, Battle Bond, Ashkaran. This Specs, um, so Lefties can has to realize that he doesn't really make any progress because Rox has more PP than Defog and he just lost his Lefties and he cannot touch this clef. All he could do is hope for Ice Beam Freeze. So he's gonna go into either his Zard or his Cheetar. And the thing is the Zard is SD, Dragon Rush, um, Flame Charge and Roost. So if Ray Scarvis has, has seen his game from the other day, he knows the set and he knows that Heatran pretty much beats the Zard. Um, but I assume he's gonna go into Toxapex first. Um, Lefties is gonna SD, the rocks are back up, so he's gonna be forced to defog later again. But yeah, Banta and Specs Coco slash Team of Coco is, are gonna be the two months that uh, put the most pressure on Ray's team um, once he figures out that his Heatran walls this. Um, I'm pretty sure he should he should know that Heatran walls it because um, he should have seen his game the other day, Lefties game the other day. Um, because Lefties is his opponent, so why would he not scout him? But if Lefties is a genius and put Earthquake on this, then um, Ray's in a tough position. Um, but yeah, I assume he's gonna go Clefy, anticipating the Dragon Rush, like I said, he probably has saw his game and he knows the set. And yeah, so he couldn't go Clefable on Dragon Rush and then Heatran on uh, on a Flame Charge. And yeah, there's no timer, they're taking their time, so this is more time for me to talk about the team, but even though I've pretty much mentioned everything already. Um, this is just uh, Rocks, Ferro Zone, this team doesn't have spikes, so you're gonna be forced to default most of the time for Yuzad with this team. And yeah, this is a fist dev, so still like mixed defensive but more fist dev. Um, I think spdev packs fist dev clef. I think it's just magma trap tren. I forgot if it's. Le I think it's lefties. I don't think this. I think this team doesn't have a z move. This is just spikes spikes grin. So this team doesn't have default, but it's not that annoyed by rocks. This has magic guard. This has regenerator. This has leech to get health back. I think this has lefties as well. Mm -hmm. And the Lando and the team that was used in World Cup, this Lando had punishment because Slim Bikini was um, prepping for Reuniclus and Jem had actually brought a Reuniclus that was ingenious prepping by, by Effie. Uh, and also this Pex um, is known, like US East used this Pex a lot in World Cup, it's known as East Pex. It is Scald that's Toxapex with, I think, Recover, Toxic Spikes, Infestation and Haze. Maybe it's Toxic and Toxic Spikes instead of Haze, but uh, you should have Haze most of the time on your Toxic Packs. I don't, I'm not a big fan of non-haze on packs, um, it's pretty necessary. Um, you can get, ha you can haze like Dragon Dance on Zarex, you can haze Quiver Dance on Volcarona, the, you can haze like a lot of good stuff, you can haze Calm and Clefable. So he goes on the Clef anticipating a Dragon Rush, now he's gonna go Tren on the Flame Charge, it's just pretty simple and obvious like. Did you guys agree on no time or they're not responding? But yeah, he's gonna go training in here. And yeah, I said that because uh, my man insult that I'm called with sometimes, he always says Trennington's, I think. And <laughs> he just puts the timer on. <laughs> rude. No, that is not rude. I mean, if they're taking five minutes every turn, you just didn't wait for an answer, it took too long. But yeah, you guys, um, the other day I made like a. I made like a question video and a lot of you guys said you want to see snake games instead of laddering so um, yeah this is what I'm gonna be bringing you. Um, I'm quite tired I didn't sleep too well but I'll try to bring you guys the content Oof, it's gonna be nice and yeah he makes the play that I knew he would make goes in the trend of the flame charge and yeah now it's the time to go into Landris for Ray because going into Landris covers the Titar and it covers scouting for it scouts for Earthquake in, in case lefties change the set. And so it begins. He misses a Toxic on Tita, which is really annoying for Ray because, like I said, Tita and Coco are gonna be Lefty's main ways to put pressure on Ray's team. Um, so it's pretty obvious at this point that he doesn't have Quake on Zard, unless he plays like a Bluff God and he really changed the set and he didn't go for it on purpose to make Ray think that he doesn't have Quake. Um, but yeah, like I said, if I was Ray, I would have gone Landers as it covered the potential Earthquake and it covered the Tyranitar, and then he could have just U turned out. But yeah, Tita is gonna go for Stone and here, it's pretty free, and Ray is either gonna go to Celestia, Celestia can take two, um, or he's gonna go to Landris. 
Lando also can take one uh, with Intimidate, but it's gonna take a lot because it's an offensive Lando. This is a banter, obviously. Uh, yeah, Stone Age is free overall. Like, if you pursue, then he stays, and you're in a tough position. So, like, why not go for Stone Age here? And he gets a crit on the Celestia. <laughs> so, first he misses a Toxic, now he gets crit figured. <laughs> so, he's already really annoyed. And Lefties can go into his Coco on the Protect, and Ray's probably gonna go. The reason why Ray shouldn't go for Protect is because if he protects here and Coco comes out, that might be annoying for him. Um, so I assume he's just gonna go hard into Landris. Um, but I think he could have he could have also protected there because like Stone Age was pretty free for Lefties, so like he wasn't gonna go hard Coco there. But in case, in case he goes hard Coco, I guess he went hard into Landris. So now there's a free U turn for Ray. Since he has the Intimidate on the Tita, his Clefable or his Pex should be able to take Stone Edge unless he gets crit again. And Lefties is gonna switch to either his Pharaoh or his own Landorus, I would assume. He doesn't wanna go in the Zard and take uh, potential Earthquake slash Rocks plus U-Turn. Like, he doesn't wanna take Rocks on the Zard is what I'm trying to say. So like, yeah, anticipate his, his own Lando or his Pharaoh is gonna come out here. The thing is, if he goes to his own Lando or to his Pharaoh, Ray can go into Celestila and get leftovers. And we all know how Celestila works. Celestila can get from like a low health, low amount of health, it can get super healthy again. Um, with left, uh, Lychee, leftovers and protect. Um, because if Lefties tries to like defog uh, on the Celestila, it's gonna get super healthy again. So he has the Landers. I assume the U-turn is gonna come out. Obvious U-turn. So this is what I've talked about. Now the Celestila comes in. Yep. Like it's pretty obvious there. That, like I don't have to be a genius to know that he's gonna go Stila. And he can go for Leech Sheet here. And even if Lefties predicts that and goes in the Pharaoh Zone, he gets a turn of Leftovers. And Lefties is then forced out anyway. That crit doesn't matter. Like they would've done like... That made like 2% difference, it doesn't matter. So he goes to Pharaoh, doesn't matter because he gets lefties. Now he can flamethrower. And if Pharaoh stays in to Leech Sheet, it takes a huge hit. Um, but I assume he's gonna switch. Mm -hmm. He goes on the Mew on the flamethrower. So now he's gonna softball or defog. So if Ray predicts that and goes for Leech Sheet, that's what I talked about. His Celestia is gonna get super healthy. Um, so Ray can either heavy slam here anticipating a softball or he can protect anticipating a will o -Wisp. So he does not um, protect But lefties is eventually gonna try to wisp So if I was Ray I would either protect here or go on a Clefable because you don't want to risk getting burned mm -hmm. As he heals his Mew up And so Ray should just go Clef or Heatran here I think Heatran is a fine play He goes on a Zard um, Okay, okay so Ray's just gonna go in heat turn now. He could also get up his rocks, but I would say going hard turn is the better play. Um, lefties might SD, but he shouldn't because like th this trend like just yeah. I guess he can try to dragon rush the trend for like it would maybe do around half. It's still a tough cause boosted stab. It's like base 100 and stab move, mm -mm -mm. but he just switches back to Tara on the toxic. I assume. This time it does connect, and he's either gonna pursue the Stone Edge. He does pursue. Um, I mean, it's nice for Lefty to get damage on Heatran to weaken it for the Cherry that. Yes, I understand that, but there's a full health uh, Celestila. Now looking at him, I mean, this is a tough matchup for Lefty. I'm not saying he played that bad. That was a nice play, but um, even with the hacks, um, the crit on the Stila didn't really matter because he got all his health back now. Um, but some nice plays, to be fair, he played that nice, but like, it's just how Stellar Steeler works. And he makes a fire play there, um, doubling into Greninja. He could have also gone to Coco there, so I'm not 100% sure why he went Greninja. I guess he was confident he would go in the Mew. And he can just go for Dark Pulse. Lefties goes to Pharaoh as a mid ground because he doesn't want to risk the town a potential pump. Uh, but I feel left Dark Pulse was pretty free there for Ray because um, the TGR is poison anyway. And even if the Tita um, comes in on Dark Pulse and pursues the Gren, um, the Gren resists Pursuit, so it doesn't die to it. And the Tita would get weakened and weakened. The Tita is one of the b only like big threats to race team, so like he would not mind weakening that and for to for trading it for some health on his Gren. So he gets up the rocks, and the Pex can get up a T spike or go for Scald or Toxic here, something along those lines. Coco is in. Um, this is a threat to Ray if it's. Um, Specs, Tebow destroys the entire team other than Lando, and Lando is at, I think, 24 after rocks? At 20 ish after rocks. So if he predicts the Lando switch here, oh, it's at 20 after rocks, and goes for him twice, then he would get blown away. But yeah, this is a Scarf Lando, so even if this is not Specs, he has to switch here. Um, if I'm Ray here, I would go for it. 
I would probably double out predicting the Pharaoh slash the Landro. Um, so I would probably in double into like um, Salus Dealer here if I'm Ray. Yeah, I would double into Salus Dealer here as that would cover the Pharaoh and the, the Landro. He just played it safe off quick. Understandable. He gets a crit. Uh, a bit unfortunate, but he also got hexed a bit. And yeah, I mean, he has the matchup. He's gonna win this game, I'm pretty sure. Um, so Lefty's knew he was locked into Earthquake, goes to his own land risk, and now the Mew is poisoned, and, like, this doesn't do much for Lefty, like, he can softball here, but even if he defox here, Clive is just gonna get the rocks back up, and if he defox, he also gets rid of the rocks on the other side, so defogging doesn't do help Lefty, and now he wants to defog because, um, he doesn't want his Coco get poisoned and his Zard get poisoned, but Zard doesn't do work anyway, um, maybe he should have just Dragon Rushed the trend earlier, and, like, Fished for a crit or something, but it's a, it's rough for Lefties. I don't think he can win this matchup, like I said. Um, the Ray could have just Moonblasted there, but he really wants his Ash Foam doubles into Grand, so he can just Dark Pulse again here. Like I said, uh, if Tita comes out, it's completely fine for Ray. Okay, okay, he gives him the Ash Foam. Um, so he was probably hoping that he would go for Pump, or he didn't want to go Hard Tar. Um, so he can pursue this, but it's gonna, not gonna kill it. That's 60 though, that's a nice chunk. Um, yeah, it was docked into Dark Pulse, so it was pretty obvious that Red was going to switch there. And he can just go for a Heavy Slam or a Leech Seed with the Dealer. The Tita is forced to switch as it's locked into Pursuit. And this is just really bad for Lefties, because if he goes in his Mew, he's going to be forced to softball all the time. He's going to give Ray free turns. And even though Greninja is pretty low, Greninja has one more switch into Rocks. So when um, Sandstorm ends and Greninja comes in on, an, on like a double switch or like on a forward, and it pretty much gets a kill. Um, so yeah, um, Coco is basically left his hope to like somehow win this game, but since the Grinja got the Ash from it, now it speeds the Coco. Um, rocks are also up, and Pop T spikes are up, it's just not looking good for lefties. He has to go into... I don't know, he has to go Coco or Mew, I guess? Or Zard, but like, all of the three would take Rocks plus T spike. Um, and Sandstorm is up, so they also take Sandstorm chip. And then I'd also have to take Heavy Slim or Leech Seed, so like, <laughs> it's just not a, it's just, it just doesn't work for Lefty, this is just in a tough spot here. Um, if you're Ray here, would you, do you have like a double that covers all the switches? Like I said, I think um, Heavy Slamming or Leech Seeding both are fine play. Mm, since Lando only has, I think, one more rock switch and you don't want to double to death because that's like your best... Yeah, I mean, since he got his Ash form, and he can also check the Coco that way. But yeah, those two ones are like his best answers to Coco. But since he has Teeth Spikes up and Rocks, Coco is gonna get worn down. So it's just looking super good for Ray here. And they're still taking their time. And yeah, um, what other games can you guys expect later? Um, I got Cory vs. Easy for you. I know some of you said I should only upload like big name games, like like partial games or like ABR games or like um, Brofus games, stuff like that. Brofus games are gonna be coming as well. But the thing is, um, yeah, I've also recorded some like Cory's, um, like Cory's a goat, he's just like an upcoming, like he's not that well known. Um, I've recorded some of his games and yeah, he has also asked me if I record his games and he, yeah, I recorded them a few days ago but I have to re narrate them so they're gonna be coming, my, my guy, don't worry. Um, see, Juma's games are gonna be coming, P2 games are gonna be coming, Zomo games are gonna be coming. I just don't know when. Um, yeah, like, I'll like upload one or two more games today for sure. Um, I also have to, like, upload, uh, cover the OT games. Um, there's one OT series left that is gonna be coming later between uh, updated Kanto and Googly for uh, round 5 losers bracket. And yeah, the other round 5 series, I'm gonna bring those. Um, got two of the series live, kinda. One game I missed like half of it. And the chat is talking about some Ubers game. It's really interesting. Okay, okay, now they finally make a play. So he goes in the Mew here. I think, yeah, he's just sacking. He's just sacking it. He gets a beast boost here in defense. Obviously, he was defensive. You could already know that from the Stone Edge damage earlier from Tita. Um, yeah, it was pretty. F yeah. That was a fine sack. And now he's just gonna click T Bolt here. Um, because I don't think Ray is gonna go hard in the Landris. He can, but like it's risky. He's gonna protect to get some chip. Mm -hmm. And I think he can sack his Heatran here. 
Oh, he can sack. Oh, let's see what this packs. Uh, to be fair, it doesn't really matter. Um, he can sack his packs or his heat gen. Uh, yeah, exactly. So he sacks his heat gen. And now he can go into Greninja and click Water Shuriken. He doesn't even have to risk missing Hydro Pump. Um, because he specs right, and after all the damage from sandstorm, poison, and rocks and stuff like that, Coco is in range from specs, water shuriken. This bedev from Coco is not that good. But yeah, what I was trying to say is they're talking about Amfuga here. Amfuga is playing uh, an Ubris for Smoke and Snake, which is interesting. He got, I think, banned, the forum banned or something, but he's still allowed to play here. But yeah, he's gonna get water shuriken. The sandstorm is gonna end this turn, so Greninja is not gonna die. And. Lefties is gonna have to sack something here. So he sacks his Titar, which means he cannot even get the sand back up. So yeah, this game is over. This game been over. Um, Scarflander dies to Water Shuriken. Coco dies to Water Shuriken. Zard can probably take it. Um, oh, Zard dies as well. No, it's okay. Zard lives it. But it dies to Poison. So it's a double down here. Uh, yeah, okay. Zard can take it. For some reason, I thought he could get more than three hits. But Ash always gets three hits. Mm -hmm. um, so he gets on a Scarf. Okay, I thought he would go into Scarflander there. But yeah, he goes on a Clef here, and he can sack, he can either sack his Toxapex here, or he can Moonblast. Um, yeah, he might be worried about his Z-move, like it's not, like I said, it's not confirmed specs yet. So yeah, he can sack his Pecs here if he's worried about his Z-move, because Z-move is the only thing that can o the Clef. But it doesn't matter, he can, like, he can sack his, yeah, he's probably gonna sack Pecs, because Pecs loses to Coco and it can potentially lose to land as well. Like, it's weak to Earthquake is what I'm trying to say. It can eat an Earthquake, but it also... Like, Pex is his least viable member. He doesn't need Pex anymore, so he should sack it. Good God, why is it so hard for me sometimes? <laughs> like, it's late here. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this content, though. Um, Like I said, let me know if you have any specific wishes, which game I should upload first. I have a lot of the games that I have to re -narrate. Um, Like, a lot of the games um, I just have... Like, since I have to re them, I can basically decide which order I want to upload them. So if you, like, want to see a specific game, just let me know in the comments. Like, just tell me a specific player if you don't know who they have played. Oh, by the way, Blunder also played with the Thorn, like, the other day, and I forgot to mention that in the Ben Manafi game. Um, that Blunder also played with the Thorn. I didn't upload that. Um, I didn't see that game live. So if you guys want to see, like, a replay for that, let me know. It was actually quite a cool game. But lefty Salinas at 67. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, he sacks his Toxapex here. And then Ray can go into his Landris. And I think after poison damage, Coco is in range from Hidden Power Ice. So if he sacks his Toxapex here, he can go Landro and click Hidden Power Ice. So he finally goes in Toxapex. There is the Z move, so Gigavolt have a guy soon. Mm -hmm. So it was Z Thunderbolt, I guess. Because he showed Z Bolt earlier, right? I'm not tripping. So if Hidden Power Ice, he should run the Kalk, and if Hidden Power Ice kills from here, he could have gone for it, because that cover, if it kills Coco, and it obviously also hits the opposing land. But yeah, going Clef is completely fine, so he's just gonna click Moonblast here, and once Coco dies, um, Celesteela wins, basically. Yeah, this game, this game been over. Thank you guys for watching, um, it's pretty much over. Just gonna wait for the last turns here, and yeah, I also have uh, two more games from Ray Scarface. I have his game versus... Um, was it Steve Angelo? I forgot. But yeah, I have like two more race games, maybe even three more. I forgot. I have Porsche versus ABR, kind of, because I missed like the first few turns. What else do I have? So yeah, he T balls, he doesn't para. And now Celeste Dealer wins. Um, he's gonna have to lock into Stone Edge exactly, because that's his only move to do like good amounts of damage to, like somewhat good amount of damage to Steeler, because HPS wouldn't have done anything. And yeah, Lefty says GG, Ray Scarface takes the win. And stay tuned for more content. Um, yeah, like I said, if you have any priority game that you want to see, or any player that you want to see. Um, I assume you guys will want to see Brofist, so I'll bring you Brofist with Finch, or Brofist with Zomok. Not with Finch, with Zomok, but yeah. Stay tuned for more content. He's, I think Brof is playing Finch this round, this phase, not last phase. I mixed that up. But yeah, have a fantastic day. Peace out. Stay tuned for more content and smash the like button because I'm putting in the work for you guys. Goodbye.